My long dimension lumber is in another room out of the way, but I have a tendency to keep my short scrap stuff oh, sort of kicking around in boxes. Like this. Or hidden away in a closet. Like this. Or like this. Or this. Or worse yet, like this. It just seems that I'm always having to move boards around every time I want to do something. Every available corner seems to have some sort of scrap lumber standing in it. When I was an early teen, we actually had a wood box in our house. It was near the kitchen door. And Mom would say, Ronnie, the wood box is getting low. And out I'd go get the axe, chop some wood, fill the wood box. I never thought I was going to be having anything to do with a wood box again. But here we go, I'm making one. <laughs> if you think I'm moving fast there, you should have seen me when I was an early teen, trying to get that wood box filled up as fast as I could when it was 40 below and I wanted to get back in the house. There may be some people watching this that are thinking, why is he pulling his power miter through the work instead of pushing it through? Well, I've found that doing it this way, I get a lot less dust thrown up in the air. I know you can't see it very good, but as well as that black hose that you see at the top there, which is almost useless, I've got a 4-inch hose hooked up at the side, and that works really good. It's hooked up to a big 3-horsepower general dust collector. Okay, that's all the side pieces cut. And the way I'm planning to mount these pieces on the rails, I'm going to use uh, pocket holes to make it a little easier. These are the rails. And I've already dadoed out a channel for the boards to sit in. Being as I've got a lot of cheap carpenter's glue, I thought I may as well make use of it here, even though I'm sure this thing would hold together without it. As I've mentioned in some of my other videos, speeding it up like this makes a long, tedious video a short, tedious video. The two sides and the two ends are all glued together and it sat there overnight and the glue is all dried and right now I'm feeling kind of stupid because I had intended to round over the rails that were going to go on the top edge of the box. Well, it's a little late now. As I'm changing my cutters here I'm beginning to think that maybe this is not a good idea because I've never put anything this awkward through the shaper before. If I'm not going to be using a cutter in the near future, I usually put a little bit of oil on the edges there. It just sort of helps to keep the rust down. I ran a piece of scrap 2x4 through here just to see how it was going to go, and it did have the desired effect. I sort of make these videos as I'm going along during the project. Some of these projects might be spread out over several days. Others might be spread out over several weeks or months. So when I indicate I'm going to see how this will go. I really mean I'll see how this will go. I don't know. And so it's news to me too. And I can see here that this is not going to be safe. So I'm not even going to try it. Those rails are just going to have to have just sort of a flat top. This is a wonderful shaper. I really like it. It's got lots of power. The only thing I don't like about it is this hold down thing here. It's almost useless. No matter how hard I turn on that knob, I can't get it to hold tight. This belt clamp I made up about 25 years ago. I haven't used it since then, but I knew exactly where it was. I was originally going to have glue in these corners as well, but I'm using these long screws. There's going to be eight in each corner. Well, I think that's good enough.
Well, I was going to say something funny like, if it was any longer you could bury me in it. But that's not very nice, so I won't say that. There's a liberal amount of glue under that plywood, and I'm just using one and a quarter inch staples here to hold it down until the glue dries. And we'll get rid of the sharp corners. I'm planning on having this box on casters so it'll be easy to move around. However, I can't screw the casters to that half inch plywood. There's just not enough material there. So I've got to build it up a little bit. So I'm just using some scrap oak pieces here and you'll see how it goes. As you can see, I'm not planning on taking this apart. The edge of that plywood was pretty sharp, so I'm just sort of rounding it over here. You may have noticed that most of the stuff around my workshop is painted green like this. And the reason for that is because most of my heavy duty tools are from General International. And that's the color they are. So, trying to keep most of it the same. I think of this as General Green. You can see here how these casters are mounting much better on that piece of oak rather than just trying to screw them into the plywood. And here's the moment I've been waiting for. It's really good to get that stuff out from underfoot. You know, the wood box in Mum's kitchen wasn't even this good. <laughs> 